हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अवर प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव ए एज यू कैन सी द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर फाइव ए इज योर क्रिएट वेब फॉर्म टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट द यूज ऑफ वेबसाइट नेविगेशन कंट्रोल सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट विल ओपन अवर विजुअल स्टूडियो हियर एंड अंडर द विजुअल स्टूडियो विल क्रिएट वन न्यू वेबसाइट सो क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट and then empty website then i will click on the next i will give the practical the name of my project to the practical 5a and then we'll create our project now as you know it's a empty website so by default you will not get any form here so first we'll create some form because we have to navigate through the different pages so i will right click on my project then add and then web form first i am creating the home page so it will be our home page now to navigate uh, to navigate our different pages i have to create one or two more pages here so i will add one more form with the name contact us and then one more page with some name so i am adding one more page with the name search sorry so i will click on right click add web form and then i will provide the name as search then the next so currently we have three pages currently we have three pages home contact and the search so this is our home page so i will add one text here to show that it's a home page so i will add one label with the text home page similarly for the contact us we'll add one more label that is contact us page and then for the search one i will add one more label here that is your search page search page now currently as you can see we have three pages here i will save my project and by default will run our home page now let's take your uh, navigation control so it's your home page that's the content of your home page now to add your data that is navigation control first we'll add our site map path so i am adding here one site map path next i will add menu as well okay and then we'll take one data now why we are taking this data that is a site map data source because under the site site map data source we'll add our path what is our path suppose if you are going from home page to the contact page then we'll write home slash contact it will be detected automatically but what about your uh, menu for the menu you have to provide one site map so how to provide the site map you have to create one file for the site map so i will create sorry i will add add new item and under the new item you have to search for the site map so as you can see there are two site maps the first one is your visual basics and second one visual c sharp as you know that we are using the visual c sharp control that's why i am selecting visual c sharp here and i will click on add now after adding your file you will get three co uh, three file that is the first one is your site map node now the site map node first will add our home page so i will write home dot aspx so students please keep in mind that the file name should be same as your file name your present here so i am providing the file name as home dot aspx i will provide the title as home and for the description i will simply write home page here okay now again the next page is my uh, contact us page so i will provide the name as contact 
us as you can see i am providing the same name aspx and then similarly it is a contact us page so i will write simply contact us and for the description contact us so description is optional if you wanted to give the description you can but if you want to discard it so it's an optional field just like your title as well but the mandatory field is your url so the last one is your search page so i will provide the name as search and the description is search page now the last one as you can see the sitemap path is ready so we have to select our sitemap path under the data source so just click on the data source expand it refresh schema so now also go to the menu and under the menu you will get one choose data source option expand it you will get site map data source now select the site map data source as you can see the home is reflected here now sir home is reflected here but what about my site map path so site map path will provide the path of your pages suppose if you are jumping from the home page to the search page then it will be home slash search so you can change the different formatting of your sitemap path that is the template so let's see just a second so yeah so auto format so here as you can see colorful is there simple is there also the professional one and the classic i like the colorful one so i will select the colorful and apply and then okay now let's see run our project now i am running my project here So now, as you can see, here you are getting the home page and under the sitemap path, you are getting home only. And here, you can shift from the home to the contact us page. This one is the contact us page. But we are not getting the sitemap path here. Why? Because we didn't uh, take in the widget on the sitemap path of your on the contact us page. So first, we'll take your sitemap path control on your contact us page as well. So here I am going to select your sitemap path. Similarly on the search page as well. I will drag and drop my sitemap path here. And similarly on the contact us page and for the home page as well. Now I will run it again. And let's see. So after the home page I will jump on the contact us page. As you can see you are getting the contact us page and then home. And then your greater than sign and the contact us page that is we are redirecting from home page to the contact us page similarly if you are going from home to the search you will get search page from home to the search so that's it for today class we had seen the navigation control that is the menu and similarly the sitemap path for the practical number 5d thank you so much for watching video